Trade alert, trade alert, trade alert, trade alert, trade alert. The first big trade of the offseason. This is what I mean. We had, what, we were just talking about like four or five signings. Granted, some of them were small. Some of them were big-ish. None of them were huge. This trade, four, four guys moving, two teams involved. It's not huge, but it's such a nice appetizer trade for this offseason. I'm a fan of it. And if you haven't heard what happened, the Padres and Brewers have broken open the trade market. They swap a bunch of young players. So the the Brewers traded Trent Grisham and righty Zach Davies to San Diego, and the Padres are re- giving them Luis Urias and Eric Lauer in return. So I'm not to knock like Davies, um, but Trent Grisham and Luis Urias, the two position players, are kind of the interesting pieces here. Trent Grisham wasn't like Trent Grisham wasn't that high of a prospect. I think he never really like dominated in minor leagues, but he came up and he put together a really good effort for the Brewers at the end of the stretch. He started in the wild card game when Yelich got hurt. Um, and Luis Urias is kind of the opposite. He is fantastic AAA numbers. Now he's got very, very, very small plate appearance, like 300 in the, in majors in the majors, and they're not great. But he's only 22 years old. So the way I break this down is the Brewers are receiving the highest ceiling and lowest ceiling pieces in this trade. I think Urias. Am I saying that right? Yeah. I think he's the highest ceiling. And I think Eric, Urias. what is it? Urias. Urias. Urias is the highest ceiling. Eric Lauer is probably the most like, bleh. Um, and that, um, that may be being rude. Maybe I'm talking about my butt. I think Trent Grisham is a good now player. And it's also needs the, uh, the Brewers are pretty, pretty doing well with outfielders. They got Kane, they got Yelich, they got Braun, they got Gamel. And I think they have a rookie coming up. They don't have any shortstops. They want to move on from Arcia. They're going to put Urias at shortstop, Jake, which is a big gamble. That's where I think now he grades out better as a second baseman. So now you're taking this dude, 22-year-old, high ceiling, and you're going to just plug him in as your shortstop, and he hasn't proven it with the bat yet. There's a lot of risk here. There's a lot of reward. Trent Grisham was surplus for the Brewers, so they get rid of him. Zach Davies... He's a starter. He's going to go be in the Padres rotation now. Uh, he's kind of like an average starter. Maybe they can tap anything. But the interesting thing is Eric Lauer, he fits the Brewers mold as a thrower. Like they are going to, they get a guy now that they can just use wherever they want, which is what they want. So those are my initial thoughts, I guess. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I'll 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 stay with the pitchers for now. I I think when you when you lay everything out there on paper, uh, I mean it. Davies is better than Lauer. Um, yeah. Davies has a cup. Davies has three seasons with twenty eight plus starts, where his ERA is under four. Which I mean, that's a that's a pretty solid starting pitcher. Twenty eighteen, he was hurt. He had kind of a bad year. He's not a big strikeout dude, but I I mean he had a three five five ERA last year. Um, that's that's nothing a. Nothing to shake a shake a shoe at. What's that phrase? You you can't swing a cat in here without hitting a celebrity. Yeah, you can't swing a cat at Zach Davies without him having a, an okay year last year. And yeah, I I know the analytics crew would want to come at me. His FIP was a lot higher. His FIP was four five six. Um, so I I don't know. Maybe this was a uh, and and he makes five million dollars more. Uh, than I think Lauer will make this year. So uh, I, I think it was San Diego bringing in a better arm and willing to pay the money. It was Milwaukee, like you're saying. I, I think Lauer's a young guy who he threw his innings, and you know maybe they can find something to make him a little better than his 4-5 or five ERA or whatever it was. But I, I think pitching-wise, you, you give Davies the leg up here. On baseball, so he, baseball savant, you know, they have that little, the little meter where the, the ball slides – from poor to average to great for each analytic. You know, you've ever seen those graphics for players? Yeah. So Eric Lauer doesn't have a single bar that's above average. 
Fastball velocity, Notice. fastball spin, hard hit, exit velocity, X slugging, X batting average. You know what he's got, Jim? Miles and miles apart. He's a lefty that can throw innings, babe. Yeah. Um, that's a Inning- uh, that's a that that's a language that always speaks in this sport. What do you got on the position um, players? Because I think those are the more interesting topics here. That's where this does get really fun. Because I know, like you said, no offense to Davies and Lauer, but you don't see those guys, you know, necessarily game two of the of the <laughs> NLDS. Uh, going out and shutting seventh shutout. Prove me wrong, guys. I'm I'm more than open to that. The the Urias Grisham thing is interesting. So Grisham used to be kind of a top 100 prospect. He had a couple tough years in the minor leagues. Then he turned it on. He gets the call up when when Brawny goes down, and they throw him at the top of their lineup for this playoffs run. Which uh, again, how how different does this playoff look? That's the other part that sucks here. Like I I was so excited for the Grisham redemption story in Milwaukee, and now they've traded him away. He's gonna be hated in Milwaukee forever. I think they'll clap when he gets back, and they'll apologize. They're they're nice Midwestern people. Yeah, in the first inning, after the after the fourth, after a couple brouhaha's, I think they'll do it. But you're right, and you were all over it, Jim. The the big thing here is Arias playing shortstop. Um, Tatis and Machado are on the left side um, <laughs> for the Padres, so that was pretty well locked up. And I, I think the question mark is because he does have a really good hit tool. In the minor leagues, he's hit over 300. Um, he's he's expected to hit. He's only played 83 games. The numbers aren't good, but he's, like you mentioned, 22, very young. Um it's going to be, can he play shortstop? And I, I think that's where the Brewers are taking a chance, and they clearly believe that. Um, he's a li- he's listed at 5'9". Uh, that's that's a, a little smaller than you'd like to, to see your shortstop, I think. But, hey, I, I like it for the Brewers. You're taking a chance. And, I mean, what's what's the worst case? That you, you maybe you have to slide him over to third base or something like that? I, I think... I, I don't know. It, may, maybe this is a mental thing that I need to get over, but it feels like if you have a an infielder that can hit, that's still slightly more valuable than an outfielder that can hit a little bit. I don't know. Um, I, I would be very interested to see how this <laughs> these trade discussions go down because you're right. We normally don't get kind of a... When, when we see apples for oranges trades in the MLB, normally it's like, all right, well, you're going to get... You know, this guy, he's 28. You're going to get him for a year and a half. Hope he does well for you. You give us a prospect, and maybe he pans out, and that's kind of the risk-reward. These are two young MLB players that are going to be <laughs> playing for, off the rip. Neither have accrued a, a year of service time either, so their, like, contracts is a, basically an equal swap. You don't yeah. see that a lot. It's just, like, need for need or belief for belief. It's interesting belief for belief and that that must have been the scariest part in the trade room was <laughs> and this is this is something that you've you've wrote me into a little bit is teams don't trade the prospects they love um you it just doesn't happen yep. so if you're if you're San Diego and Milwaukee I think you're both having kind of a that standoff from the office where it's like wait you're okay trading Arias well you're okay trade you're okay trading Grisham, right? I, I, just I, like, yeah, I read somewhere that neither are like highly thought of within their own organization. <laughs> so it's just fresh start for both of them. Yeah, good. Ur- Urias crushed AAA last season, just to let you know. 315 batting average, 398, 398, 398 on base percentage in 73 games, 998 OPS. It is the Pacific Coast League. But the on base the on base percentage air doesn't really come into that. Yeah, I mean th- throughout the minors leagues, he hit three oh eight with a three ninety seven on base. Um, so it's it's can he pick it at short? And I I think that's the I don't know if it's risk reward, but that's if you're the Brewers, it's like okay if if you throw Urias out there and he it doesn't look like he's going to be able to pick it at shortstop. All right, then you know what? Slide him over to second base or third base. Like I, I, I don't think his defensive tools are bad. I, I just think, I, I mean, think about it. If they're willing to give him the shot at their shortstop job, he should be able to pick it at second base where he's played. Um, let's see, he's played the majority of his minor league innings there. 
Do you? But they've got Hiura there. Yeah. Do you like the Brewers' depth chart now? It's kind of good. They got Hiura at second. They're going to have Arcia or Urias at short. I think Urias. Shaw, they have him as their third baseman. Uh, they they need a shit. They need someone. On, they, they, right now, this has Shaw as their third their baseman and their first baseman. And they have their backup first baseman as Ryan Braun. So I guess the Brewers need a first baseman. Yeah, I think uh, maybe they'll fully move Braun to first base. Um, I don't. That was I don't Brewers fans. So. That might have been blind speculation, but um, I, I mean, he's 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 had a few years. Um, Are there any first baseman? I, I don't know. You're Thames, Smoke. See Thames, who who came who came from the Brewers. Yeah, they're they're a little thin at the corners right now. They need Travis Shaw to figure it out, man. He had a terrible year. <laughs> um, Yes, so, cat yeah, I don't sick. know. Oh, my God. Hey, they've got the Brewers have two prospects, outfielders Joe Gray and Corey Ray. That'd be cool if Corey they... Corey Ray and Joe Gray. Corey Ray and Joe Gray. They roam Move the outfielder. Move Ronnie to first. I, I like that a lot. Um, yeah, the, the first base options are Howie Kendrick, um, Edwin Encarnacion, who I think he's mostly a DH, but we saw him play some first base. Uh, Todd Frazier. Todd would be a fun guy in Milwaukee. Play a little third and first for them. That would be fun. He's my Tell best him friend. and Shaw to just fucking figure it out. <laughs> hey, fucking figure it out. I like, I, I don't, this trade, it's going to be easy to grade, I think, and I like that about it. Like in four years, I think we'll be able to definitively be like, that guy, that team won. <laughs> yeah. Because it's so equal with contracts and money and shit. Just an outfielder for an infielder. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what it is. Like, the the arms are going to throw, and maybe we're wrong. Like, maybe Davies is is a lot superior to Lauer. But, yeah, I mean, this is Arias versus Grisham, which we don't see that shit a lot in baseball. I like the idea of the Brewers saying, like, all right, you can have Davies, but we need an arm back. And and Padre saying, do you want a starter? Do you want a reliever? Like, no, we want neither. Thrower. Give me a guy that can do everything. And they're like, well, Lauer, but, like, he's not that. We'll take him. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And if you're Lauer, I mean, look what just happened to Drew Pomeranz. You're stoked. Yeah, right? You get to go get to be whatever you want to be. I'll do anything, Coach. Just give what me, a good, give me that. F- so we're happy for everyone year. in this trade. Okay, cool. 